Yes, hello and welcome to Premier League Predictions here on Oliver Eden on YouTube. Yes, we are at week 10, our first big milestone in the series. And we've got these 10 games to get us predicting on. We've got some big ones in there as well. Look at that, Man City, Tottenham. That's all coming up later on in the show. As always, we're going to start with week 9's results and what we got in the to League 3. Uh, as you can see, we had a very poor week. We got 100, no, not 100, 1,100 points. That consisted of one big 430 points in Everton versus Palace and two zeros in the Bournemouth game and also the Wolves game. That means in the Eton League 3, we are currently still sat in fourth, getting approached from behind. Uh, we're getting uh, left behind as well. Uh, my father still in first. Is anyone going to overtake him? Meanwhile, my brother down in sixth and my mum down at the bottom in eighth. Going now to the week 10 predictions where we've got all these big games. So here it is. We're going to start with uh, Watford v Huddersfield for the first game. And I've gone for a 2 1 away win. 2 1 to Huddersfield. I'm predicting to Huddersfield to get their first win of the season. They thumped Watford last time. Uh, at their ground, 4-1. I'm thinking of the same. We're really good. We can we can score a lot away, and it's strange. Yeah, it's a 2-1 there. <laughs> Wolves Brighton, very tough game to predict this one. I've gone for a away win again, a 1-0 to Wolves. Brighton, they're without Glen Murray, I believe now. Wolves defeated by Watford. It's it's going to be a tough game to predict, really. But I've gone for a 1-0 away win. Fulham Bournemouth, I've gone for a 3-1 win again to the wayside to Bournemouth. Fulham lost against Cardiff. Bournemouth, they are having a good season. It's strange because Fulham have the players, but they're just not getting the results. Liverpool, Cardiff, I've gone for a 3-0 home win. Liverpool uh, routinely getting the points here. They've just beaten Red Star Belgrade 4-0 in the Champions League. Cardiff, they had that big win, but I don't think they're going to get too much from this game. 3-0. Southampton, Newcastle, big six points. I've gone for one old draw. Another game, tough to predict. Southampton down near the relegation zone now. Newcastle, bottom of the table. Uh, I think both teams will get a point here, though, because I don't think any of them are really good to win this game. Leicester, West Ham. 2-0 to the home team. Uh, West Ham, I don't know. I just feel like they'll play better at their home. Uh, Leicester at home in this game, I think they... We'll get the two goals in this game, uh, in this rather mid-table clash, shall we say. Burnley versus Chelsea, gone 3-0 to the away with, uh, team. Uh, Burnley got fresh from Man City, didn't they? And uh, got another big six side here, Chelsea. I think Chelsea will have a routine win. They seem to be calm and collected in the 3-0 will be the score here. Palace, Arsenal, I've gone for a 3-0 away win. I did originally have 5-0, believe it or not, but I've deducted it down to 3-0. I don't think Palace uh, are maybe that good enough really to compete today against Arsenal. I could be wrong completely, but Arsenal seem on a completely different level. And of course, the mental game is Man United v Everton. They always have a mental score this game. 2 2 I've gone though. Uh, I think it'll be a similar story to the Chelsea game maybe uh, for Man United. Uh, I think 2 2 uh, will probably serve them well. And the big one, Tottenham Man City. I've gone for a 2 1 away win. I've gone for Man City to win. Uh, I think they'll have the better quality. Tottenham got a lot of injuries so far, and I think that could bite them in the bum. Right, going to the predicted table then. This is all the predictions from me and early me throughout the whole season. And as you see, Huddersfield Town rising up 13th out of the relegation. Surprisingly, we have Watford down there, which is strange as well. Liverpool to be top of the table on goal difference. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If indeed you're still out, we'll be tuning in next week for week 11's predictions where we'll be reflecting on week 10's results. Make sure in the comments you leave some feedback whether you think parts should be cut out or not and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye!